Welcome back to map 3 between Todd and Mew. We're this time on uh, Turtle Rock. Todd once again in yellow. He is spawning in the bottom right spawn position at half first by him. And of course he is the one who is leading with 2 to 0. So he's one map away from entering the finals. Whereas his opponent Mew, who's once again in red and who's this time spawning in the top left spawn position is three maps away still from advancing to the grand final so he's yeah gotta win three maps in a row against um, Todd who of course at the time already was one of the best players in Europe so or for that matter on uh, the planet so um, pretty daunting task for Mew and of course he as well starts with the altar first so uh, cross positions here on Turtle Rock once again, Todd going for a bit of an, a strange uh, building placement here with the farms and the barracks very far outside, creating a huge space here in the back of his own base, whereas, you know, the front is moved rather far away from where the majority of his uh, lumber harvesting is going to take place. I guess his building placement kind of paid out on uh, Secret Valley, where he also went for a bit of a strange... Uh, positioning of his barracks and his farms, by the way, AM for oh, both God. of them. Um, I mean, Mew was able to um, snipe that first mortar team that spawned oh, on Secret God. Valley, but once he was driven back a little bit by the militia, and then he wasn't able to gain access to the spawning mortar teams anymore with his uh, caster pressure. Um, Todd was able to, you know, work with his base layout very nicely on Secret Valley. So maybe with that one, he once again Job plans done. to um, go for tier three eventually. Job but done. that's, you know, of course, speculation only. Uh, we'll find out about it eventually. AM is out for Mew. Let's see what he's going to do here. Todd with the uh, peasant, of course, sees what his opponent is up to. Same time, he's starting to uh, creep right in front of his base, the tiny uh, turtle camp. Mew is doing the same thing, but he's about to take both uh, small green camps on his side at the same time. Um, well, it's gonna get level 2 here very, very, very quickly. Whereas Todd uh, yeah, is using his militia here to uh, continue creeping the orange camp, so he's gonna get level 2 as well. He's gonna get a bit of a bigger item, but he's gonna waste a little bit more Harvesting time because these militia are gonna have to walk back in peasant shape, which is gonna take um, quite a long time. Whereas Mew's peasants are already back. The peasant here suiciding. I'm assuming the footman. If I saw it correctly on the minimap, um, the footman was like at the same area where the peasant was. So that was probably why Todd suicided it. Mew at tier two, uh, at level two, guns of good strength. Not picked up. He's going for his natural expansion, as it seems. Putting the militia, not taking yet. Not going for for another farm yet. His supply block, which is a bit strange. Thought um, doing the exact same thing though. Going for his expansion as well. Not taking yet. He's also supply block. Um, so he might just be creeping this. We'll see if they decide to take the expansion, Todd losing one of his militia here. So Todd got the bigger item, Todd got a bit more experience, and he's creeping faster here. Mew, I'm not even sure if this is going to be enough for level 3. I think it shouldn't be, with only the two green camps beforehand. And let's see what Mew picks up here. To um, Tom of Intelligence and Scroll of the Beast, which could come in handy, but Todd with a greater mana portion definitely picked up the best item he could have found there, uh, especially given that it's still early game and there's no huge nukes on, uh, you know, the opponent's heroes available, so having a greater mana portion just to spawn a lot more um, water mantles is huge for the AM. Mew is going to catch up XP-wise right now, though. He's going to get level 3 as well, and neither of them is going for the expansion, actually. So both of them with some pretty greedy creep camps early on, using a lot of militia duration to get the level 3 quickly. Um, but neither of them going for the expansion tech-wise. Mew is slightly ahead, and he's got the tower finished, which is definitely a result of him, uh, you know, not using the militia that much early on when he only grabbed his one green camp with them, whereas Todd, uh, whereas Mew was... Um, Whereas Todd, excuse me, was going for the orange camp as well. So the pressure arises right now. AMs uh, both on level 3. Let's see if either of them is willing to use the big item already. Mew, 
I think he did he lose second? I think that should be one of new as well. So um, let's just check the XP here. Yeah, this is definitely uh, two of Mio's footmen down. None of his, uh, none of Todd's footmen has died, as far as I can tell. One of them sent back on low HP, and now he's using the big potion, so he definitely wants to uh, keep the fight going here. And Mio is spawning another waterman as well. Is this? Oh wow, he skilled level 2 brilliance aura. So this is very, very, very bad for Mew. Uh, this is gonna put him in such a bad position. Uh, come mid game, Todd just clicked the AM, I think. And he, he's, uh, he probably just realized that Mew has skilled the level 2 brilliance aura by accident as well. And this is horrible because usually now as the players hit tier 2, um, the most used strategy was to, would be to pick up the panda second and creep him up to level 3 as quickly as possible, uh, to have level 3, 3 heroes, but for Mew that's not gonna be working out, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna be working out because he's gonna need uh, level 4 on his AM as well, so I'm curious what his strategic approach is going to be, he's getting one arcane sanctum right now, uh, Todd is not getting anything yet, he just reached level uh, tier 2 as well, getting uh, his arcane sanctum now, but he also just continued creeping, picking up a score of the beast now as well. And Mew is getting the panda nevertheless, so um, he still feels confident enough apparently in using the panda to low HP footmen being sent back to Todd's base and getting caught here by Mew's army, but only one of them goes down, just a little bit of a victory. And Mew, okay, he's actually gonna apply some pressure, I mean he knows that Todd, uh, when he just pushed, took some damage on basically all of his footmen and Todd wasn't able to replenish that health yet, so Mew really, really... Uh, wants to get some uh, something out of that by doing this counter push. Two peasants have fallen. Scroll of the Beast used, so he wants to, uh, yeah, make use of that before the dispel comes into play as well. Another two footmen of Todd, I think, are about to fall here, but Mew is getting himself into a very awkward position. Let's see if Todd getting, is getting his panda out alive here, which he picked up on the tavern as well. He potion has been bought by that one. The next Breath of Fire is still available on Mew's uh, panda, and he's using it right now, which means Todd is gonna have to pull back everything. He's gonna use the scroll of regeneration right now. I'm assuming the AM is uh, repositioning himself here. Gonna have to be careful though. At the same time, Todd is taking some damage on all of his units, and Mew's AM is getting stuck here in between the tower and the arcane sanctum, which means he's gonna have to town portal right now, and that is going to... Oh no, he's not town portaling, so he's gonna lose his AM and I think his Panda as well, he is surrounded and Todd should be able to get that one. Another Breath of Fire isn't being used, 0.1 HP on Mew's Panda and he's actually getting that one out. I mean, he did quite a bit of damage economically to Todd, but at the same time he lost the majority of his units supply-wise, they're actually surprisingly close. And it looks like Todd is trying to cut off that Panda on his way back. And as you can see on the minimap, Panda is probably not going to make it back. He's turning around right now. The footman, I think, has seen the Panda. Let's take a look at the vision. Yeah, he sees the Panda. Uh, Todd is, the AM is coming in from the right-hand side. Panda might just suicide here. I mean, it's a level 1 hero, so he's going to be back uh, very, very soon. <laughs> Todd, yeah, very nicely making sure the Panda doesn't get away with this footman here on the top. And he's coming in with a Panda on the bottom, so this one is going to fall. Nice try by Mew but he's getting the panda killed eventually. So let's take a look at the main bases here. One water metal is going to be picked off Mew with two sorceresses spawned here first. So he's really banking apparently on, you know, capitalizing on the e economic damage he's done here. One arcane sanctum only up for Todd yet. The second one is being produced without power build though. But the question is, is that gonna work out for Mew? Both of them are staying on tier two, so uh, no tier three whatsoever for Todd, and looking at the heroes, Todd's AM is 4.5, the Panda is gonna get level 3 here, so 4.5, 3 against this AM, who's finally going to get the level 2 watermelons after this creep camp, and the Panda who is still level 1, so, um, you know, he's gonna have the superior number of casters, but how well is he gonna be able to capitalize on that, uh, Mio of course that is, Two priests out for Todd at the moment. He's got the level three. Wow, almost exactly. First heal scroll for the panda already as well. As well as an invul potion. Oh, even level two for Mew's panda. And not quite level four for the AM. But he's going for the red camp immediately. Bring even a couple of militia now. Todd, yeah, probably ex 
or might be expecting an expansion by Mew here, but uh, that's not going to be happening. Looks like Todd is just waiting for the creep check, and um, rightfully so because he's getting his expansion. So that means if he's you know able to distract his opponent, then uh, he should be in a good shape with the expansion to back him up. But it looks like he's turning around. He's not finding. Uh, Mew yet, which is great for Mew. Oh, unfortunately, Crystal Ball for him. Uh, yeah, which is great for Mew because um, obviously with a creep check with a level 2 panda against a level 3, it wouldn't be great. So, kind of a double edged sword for Mew. Having the faster casters and the sorceresses, which are great at initial tier 2, but once there are. Um, Excuse me. Once there are either a few uh, priests with a dead upgrade or uh, spell breakers out, then the sorceresses will be completely useless. So both of them going for the expansion right now. Mew did sell the crystal ball already, so his uh, Todd's not going to immediately know for sure that the red camp has been taken. And now the panda is even going to be creep checked slow. Goes on one of the priests. There is this blow already, so he's getting rid of that one immediately and getting the priest out alive. Breath of Fire is coming onto the casters of uh, the German and even the turtles are taking part in this fight right now. Backstabbing Mew here, who's got to reposition his uh, casters, which he's successfully doing. Panda casting another Breath of Fire, doing a bit of damage to the footman. Mew finally getting level 3 on his panda as well, which is, of course, super important. The casters are moving through the turtles, but not really taking too much damage here. Uh, heal score would suit Mew very well, but actually he's gotten one, so he's probably going to be able to use that. And yeah, probably after the next Breath of Fire, uh, Todd apparently thought he was just uh, already able to drive me away, but uh, he was wrong in thinking so. A uh, couple of Dispers are coming in, another Breath of Fire, and now the Penna's having the mana for the next Breath of Fire. Surround though, he's using the Breath of Fire just before the first hits by the Breakers, you know, burn the mana away, and the score has been used. By the German, but at the same time, surround on Todd's panda. But one of the breakers gets killed, and the panda gets out. At least he was forced to use both his heal potion and his uh, invul potion. And Todd used his heal scroll already as well. So, all of the items gone for Todd, I think the trade was more or less equal, except for the huge load of items used by Todd. So, uh, not all that bad for Mew. Todd's uh, army repositioning, another breaker coming in, but he's not gonna. Uh, necessarily uh, want to take the fight one on, I don't know, 10 or so against the entire yellow army, but for some reason Mew, okay, now he's microing the breaker and he's going for the attack against the expansion of his opponent where there's only one tower up yet and Todd, I think he just scouted here and he saw that there was still no counter expansion, he's definitely suspecting it and giving Mew a little bit of time, but he wasn't really able to capitalize on that only getting all of his pandas mana burned away. Actually, both of the pandas need to be really careful. Todd blocking himself. Mew chasing after him through the yellow army. So actually, both of the pandas very, very low. Uh, Todd escaping to the left-hand side. Mew escaping to the top, turning around right now, though. Uh, Mew's casters going through Todd's breakers, taking quite a bit of damage while doing so. And therefore, Mew has to at least reposition for now. Supply-wise, fairly similar. Neither of the players did get any upgrades on their breakers yet. The Panda of Todd getting back to the main base, probably picking up a couple of items just to make him a lot more of a potent weapon in upcoming fights. Let's see, he yeah, picks up uh, Scroll of Regeneration and the Clarity Potion. And Mew is just falling back for now. Todd, yeah, don't, no really need, no, <laughs> excuse me, no real need to keep the pressure up. Mew is going for tier 3. And so is Todd, both of them almost similarly attacking. Todd slightly ahead, maybe by like three seconds or so. And the Frenchman continues creeping. AM level 5 is of course going to be great with the level 3 water metals, which, you know, make the dispel so, so uh, costly because of their... God, how many hit points do they have? Like 900 or so. And yeah, that's the level 5 for Todd, who I'm assuming is going to want to pick up new heal scrolls. Panda level 4 as well, great heal potion for him, which at this state of the game is pretty good, given the large number of breakers that are available on either side. Let's just quickly see. Um, yeah, one heal scroll, one invul potion, which he passes onto the panda. Mew at the same time. 
getting level 5 on the panda, even solo creeping it. Uh, let's just quickly check the main bases. There is a blacksmith here, nothing else yet for Miu. Thought at the same time he's just reached tier 3, also a blacksmith, plus nothing else yet. The blacksmith, of course, enables both of the players, blacksmith, lumber mill, and tier 3, um, to get uh, knights eventually. But let's take a look at the fight first. The breaker lines align pretty much perfectly. The lizard skill by Todd here, which I'm not sure if it's too great of an idea. Mew doesn't have any heal scores, which is great for Todd, but at the same time there are only three casts remaining, so I'm not sure how much damage the Blizzard is actually going to be able to do, but just as I say, two of the casts get killed by the AoE combination here at the same time. Uh, Mew is moving forward, killing one of the casters, trying to go for this around, first on the AM, now on the Panda, but it seems like he's switching targets right now. Uh, next priest of Todd is falling, and it looks like Mew is gonna get one of them killed after another. There is a town portal on the red AM, so I think he's gonna be forced to use that eventually because Todd's um, breakers are looking so healthy, and there's still he, uh, his scroll for him, whereas Mew doesn't have any items remaining, which means. Yeah, he's gonna lose everything right now if he doesn't get the hell out of that fight. The next breaker is very low HP. Uh, Panda has to be split away already. One breaker falls here, another breaker on the top is probably going to be killed by the panda. No, he's coming in for the Breath of Fire. Mew's gotta use the town portal and he's doing that just now. The breaker dodges the blizzard here, uh, the priest dodges the blizzard here. So Mew is getting out of this fight. Fairly healthy, I'd even say. Both of the players lost the majority of their casters with either of them having uh, one priest remaining. But Todd had a lot more casters before the fight started. Taking a look at the supply. Yeah. Tells us exactly that. It's 58 against 59. Still no upgrades, I guess, for either of the players. Battle of Giant Strength passed on to the panda here, which must be the item that dropped up here. Because that's the only camp where it can drop on Third Rock, except for this one, which hasn't been crept yet. Or at least not entirely crept yet. Mew is adding a workshop. No Griffin Aviaries this time. So he's gonna add um, Mortar teams apparently. He's continuing the pressure here against uh, the expansion of... T and who this time is going to be able to do a lot more damage than previously when he got the chance to rest there for a little bit. Todd is town portaling in. The majority of um, peasants has died town portal pretty defensively and a workshop is coming for Todd as well. So I'm guessing we'll see both of the players transition into knights, priests and mortar teams eventually. Paladin added third. Uh, for Todd already, Mew is training his Paladin right now. So I guess so I'm guessing he doesn't desperately want to take a fight right now oh, as he's... Um, Facing triple hero with only one hero, uh, with only two heroes at the moment. At the same time, let's take a look at what Todd picked up. It's the Helm of Valor. Uh, yeah, not the greatest item he could have found there. So I think I mentioned this on map one on Secret Valley. This unit composition, priests, uh, knights, mortar teams is basically the one that's not going to lose to any other uh, human ground army unless it's heavily outnumbered. So we'll see if one of the players is eventually gonna gonna wanna dare adding a griffin aviary and spend those additional resources in order to attempt to get um, a superior unit composition. By the way, Todd... Okay, he has scouted the expansion by now, as the peers. So yeah, mortar team added by uh, Todd. The first one is already out for him. First knight out as well. Mew with the first mortar team with his paladin. So both of them with a very similar unit composition. The Fragmentation Shards upgrade is coming from you as well. Of course, super, super important as it's uh, increasing the splash of um, the mortar teams and they do additional damage to medium armor, which are the breakers, which of course are you know, in huge numbers on both sides. So the first two breakers of Mew have already taken plenty of damage. Blizzard is coming in against the casters, not really hitting too greatly though. The Panda... Getting into the back of Todd's army right now, Breath of Fire hitting very nicely. Holy Light used against the first Knight of Todd, one of Mew's breakers is going down. At the same time, Todd losing a breaker as well, enabling the panda to get up to level 4. But at the same time, Todd's panda is up at level 5 already. And there is so much mana on that one, my goodness. And Mew, he doesn't have a single heal score remaining. So this panda is going to really, really be so useful for Todd's army right now, another watermelon casted by Mew, the panda of Mew getting into the back of Todd's army once again though, the paladin is taking plenty of damage, there are items on the panda which he could pass onto the paladin, uh, holy light onto Mew's panda and he's trying to chase down 
the Paladin, but he survives for now. Pena turns around, decides to kill one of the knights, and Mew is really making this work here. Still at 69 supply against 56 of Todd, who's gonna have to try and win some time, maybe get his Panda in for a couple more Breath of Fire. Look at how much mana there's still remaining. Mew. He still has the superior army size, but I think he should fall back here because he's got no heal score and the panda just all by himself. Look at how much damage he's able to do here. I guess the next Breath of Fire is just going to force Mew all the way back to Blizzard. is totally horribly positioned and Todd realizes it, pulling back his AM. And uh, yeah, repositioning once again. Is there a score of regeneration for Todd? There is. Mew's coming in with the water medal. Actually, he could try and cancel that one on one of Todd's... Um, maybe even on... like the panda and the paladin. Once again, Todd is poking in from the bottom, Mew pulling his priest and his mortar teams very very far to the bottom. The panda has to move around, Breath of Fire coming in by Mew doing decent damage, the mortar teams also doing decent damage. Mew is splitting his weak units here, the panda is coming in for another Breath of Fire, a priest gets killed, the panda kinda low, another breath of uh, another blizzard is coming in this time doing really really well, the panda is going for the mortar teams doing so much damage to both of them and look at Mew's army, everything is low at the same time, everything for Todd is low as well, but Mew doesn't have the level 5 panda yet, the paladin actually needs to be careful, he needs to pass the staff but he doesn't do so and therefore he gets killed by the breath of fire and so do two of Mew's, <laughs> of Mew's um, mortar teams. No priests. And the next Breath of Fire is killing the AM. He just rebought the Paladin, but he wasn't using the Staff of Sanctuary. So Mew is losing so much ground here. Another Knight dying as well. The, pa uh, the AM this time has been rebought. And level 6 for the Panda of Todd, which is horrible news for Mew. And the AM of Todd also level 6. So he's using the ultimate immediately to the shop, I'm assuming, to uh, regenerate some hit points. So Mew definitely overstaying his welcome here. He killed all of the peasants inside of Todd's main mine though and this one is empty so Todd is going to have to uh, bring his peasants from his main base up there to continue creeping. 56 supply for him, 50 for Mew who is not out of gold income at the moment but who is facing a huge huge hero disadvantage. His AM is almost on level 6, Panda 4.5 only whereas uh, Paladin barely over level 2 compared to Todd's Paladin who is going to reach level 3 with uh, the next unit kill, which is going to be great as well. Couple of um, inner fires casted onto uh, the mortar teams and the heroes. Yeah, Helm of Valor and Circlet drop to make the uh, clarity potion a little bit more efficient. And a breaker is being sent out on the map right now about Todd, I'm assuming to Mew's expansion to Town Portal there, eventually after defending this push here. Breath of Fire is going in by Mew, AM is taking plenty of damage, he's just split, splitting off one of his knights, he wants to continue uh, keeping Todd's economy low, which is his only chance right now, because as it is with similar army sizes against those hero levels, he's never going to be able to win a fight, I think Mew should probably just town portal out right now, as Todd was just using his ultimate, uh, Cyclone is going onto the panda, staff used by the AM on something, a low HP knight, but at the same time, all of his units are taking more and more and more damage against the level 6 panda by uh, Totti. He can use the Cyclone. DM doesn't have um, mass teleport, obviously, so there's no really no real use in uh, saving the Cyclone. And he's just continuing to chase Mew all the way back to his own main base. Um, Holy Light used onto Mew's panda. Another... Oh, the mortar teams shouldn't really be tanking here. Now he's repositioning them, but losing one of them in the process. Second one is taking plenty of damage by the Blizzard is, and is not being moved out of the AoE. So that one is going down as well. Another Breath of Fire by Mew is coming in, but it's not enough damage output to get all of the um, back of Todd's army killed. And he's losing his Panda here. Yeah, Mew now using his Militia. Todd is using the ultimate to the bottom where I'm assuming the Breaker has been waiting and Mew's expansion at least his economy is going to be taken down oh actually the panda is still up here and Mew is town potting to the bottom right now trying to get the fight without the panda here but his panda is dead already as well so he's using all of his militia the panda as you can see not really moving to, towards the bottom uh, Mew with his militia is not really in a great position 
the mortar teams a little bit out of position but at the same time the holy light is really working the magic here now the panda is coming in from the top breath of fire is killing all of the militia Mew is down to 27 supply against 52 by Todd who's using his ultimate here again well he's killed all he needed to kill which is the economy but still I think he could have even stayed in that fight or was there something inside of his uh, peasant line still. There's no corpse here, so there shouldn't have been any units of Mew. Not really sure what happened to that knight. So Panda is on his way back, but chances are that Todd is going to take this one. Uh, he's going for the next attack here. No town portal, but of course he's got a level 6, almost level 7 AM already, and Mew's got no means of holding this expansion, so it looks like he's gonna go for Another push against Todd's expansion. <laughs> oh wow, he's forgotten the animal war training. Getting it just now. Whereas Todd already has it. And Todd isn't even going to bother holding his expansion here. He's going to have a little bit of cooldown on his ultimate. But it looks like he's going to just go for the kill on the altar and he's easily going to get that one in time at the same time his entire economy at expansion is probably going to die but i don't really think he necessarily needs the expansion because he's going to win in the base trade because of the superior panda and the mortar teams and he's gonna win in a fight because of the <laughs> superior panda and the superior army size and the superior everything so he's still teleporting and dragging his breath of fire going into Mew's army blizzard is doing Decent damage against the knights. One of them is being staffed out. The ultimate is being used again. One knight is falling. The second knight is going to fall as well. GG by Mew. Todd is taking the best of five with 3 to 0 on three very entertaining and nice to look at maps, actually. I think 3 0 doesn't really, um, you know, tell the story properly when you actually look at the three maps played here. But at the end of the day, while Mew got somewhat close on all of the maps, um, at the end it was always Todd uh, prevailing here. So we see the second 3-0 in those playoffs here in a row. Um, talking especially about this map, I think Mew really did decently, especially given his early game there with losing the AM and the Panda while only doing bit of damage economically then even in the first real tier 3 army fight he did very well but with that advantage I think he got a little bit over eager he didn't want to pull back buy new heal scrolls uh, get a score of regeneration and then go for another push with like at least a, a supply advantage of like 10 supply uh, he stayed in there the, the panda of Todd who had like infinite mana at that point uh, got more and more breath of breaths of fire in and then Mew kind of lost it when uh, you know his his uh, paladin went down with the staff and then he rebought it and didn't staff his am and then that one went down and he had to tavern rebuy twice giving uh, Todd the level six on both the panda and the am and of course that was game deciding uh, you <laughs> just cannot beat uh, you know your opponent if he's got such a uh, huge hero advantage in an otherwise fairly uh, even match. So yeah, that's it for Mew. Todd advances to the finals. And next up will be the second human mirror in the uh, playoff matches, which is going to be between Fire and Insomnia. And hopefully we'll continue to see games like this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, if you liked it, then... <laughs> Press uh, thumbs up and comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.